idea. 97 is when we were, I think, first kind of fucking around. And then 98 was when I was like, all right, I'm the singer now. And then we made a demo. Shit. But uh, uh, it was just a group of our friends from different bands that were all just jamming. Yeah. And I kept just going over and hanging out. And uh, and we were all from different bands that played together at parties and stuff. And then I remember just being like, hey, can I try and sing? Can I try and sing? This is cool. You guys are so good. And they kind of weren't feeling it. And then eventually, I was just always hanging out. I think they eventually they just kind of caved in. Yeah, I let them try. Uh-huh. You know, and they, they gave me some lyrics. And I recorded the song on a tape recorder. And... Uh, with a cassette and then yeah. went home, listened to it a bunch of times and then wrote my own lyrics thinking like, Oh, they're going to be pissed. You know, I, I changed it, but they were, they were hyped. No so, way. Yeah. 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 So like that was it. And then we, uh, we wrote like five songs and made a demo tape and we were, yeah, we were officially a band in 98. Holy shit. Crazy. And so, I mean like every band, right. You'd start off with a fan, right. You'd yeah. playing at these, whatever shows right you, totally parties shows Absolutely. wherever we could a- a- wherever you could that that hunger that thirst totally how long did it take from when you guys started right until you started seeing some steam pick up it's pretty fast like we couldn't believe it we uh we were really diligent and played like like i said we were playing anywhere we could yeah and uh like there was a club in anaheim that became chain reaction it was called public storage the short short lived short lived venue and uh, I remember we played there every weekend for a month. Like, we'll play any show. Like, just let us play any show. So they were like, all right. And then, like, we started playing that venue all the time. And people would be like, dude, you guys are like the house band. You know, but <laughs> we play with any band. You just yeah. it, Somebody cancels. We'll show up. We'll play 20 minutes before doors. We don't care, you know? Yes. We played a lot of backyard parties, stuff like that. But then uh, people started coming to see us at parties. And when we'd open shows and then uh, Dave at indecision records, uh, hardcore label was coming to see us too. And uh, we were playing with bands that were on his label. We were starting to open more shows and then he was just really cool and gave us a shot and put out our first LP in 1999. And we started touring. Holy shit. Like DIY touring. And then uh, by 2000, we were on epitaph. It was great. We couldn't Ah, believe. Yeah. People just started, it started multiplying and we out of Dave's label that was out of his house. Yeah. Like all of a sudden we were like, Holy shit, we sold a bunch of these records. What? You know, like how did that happen? Wow. And it just started steamrolling and we were just getting tour after tour. I remember at that point, like we couldn't believe the bands we were playing with. Like how did this happen? Seven seconds, snap case, AFI, you know, like it was wild, man. Like, excuse me. Someone just reminded me of that, uh, last night of the we did a tour it was us union 13 in seven seconds you know early tour and so we we just kept getting lucky and then all these great bands were just so cool to us yeah you know and it just kept steamrolling from there and next you know we're touring all over the fucking planet (laughs) you know (laughs) 